And anyway, I was, I just flipped through it and I thought, oh, this looks familiar. We had a, a similar copy in the special collections. So I just picked it up and, and took it with me. And um, um, when I got back to the office, I was comparing it with the one we had. And, but the one I had just discovered in the bear trap was inscribed. And um, I, was, I was flabbergasted because, you know, I never imagined we would have an in inscribed book by Oscar Wilde. And uh, anyway, it turned out to be pretty valuable, worth several thousands of dollars. And uh, so we put it in special collections. Oscar Wilde had made a, a uh, trip to the United States in the 1880s and had gone all around and, and gave lectures. And uh, sometimes he was appreciated and sometimes he wasn't. But uh, I, he was in Topeka at that time and mm -hmm. spoke at the old uh, uh, opera house. And I thought to myself, and of course this is an assumption that I made, that probably after his, his lecture, somebody had uh, uh, gone backstage or at the stage door, and when he came out, asked if uh, he would s sign their book. And I have nothing to base that on, but it seemed logical to me. And then it, it rested on a bookshelf in somebody's home for nearly 100 years, and uh, then somebody cleaned out that home and here came the book. Thank goodness it came to the library because otherwise, who knows where it might have ended up. So when the book sale, the library book sale started in 1971, uh, and I, st I started work here in 1971, the second time, and um, so I worked with the ladies in the book sale sort of uh, superficially in those early years, but uh, I, was, I was thinking back that I cannot think of a sale I missed. I mean, from that time on, it seems like I was either a patron of the sale or helping with the sale. And uh, it, it, was, it, it was great fun. And of course, the, the ladies who established the book sale in the beginning, um, Ann Peel, Mabel Moses, all of those ladies who were so into the library and wanted it to be so successful, uh, worked, gosh, they worked like crazy getting that together. In the first uh, book sales, <clears throat> there used to be a drive-through garage on the back end of the library where the bookmobiles parked, and um, they would move the bookmobiles out and set up tables and all that sort. That's where the first book sales were held there. And uh, they, were, they were fun. And, and just like today, everybody, people looked forward to them. And uh, they were very, very well attended. So, uh, and, and the Friends of the Library have, has raised quite a bit of money for the, for the library through those book sales. And of course, now we have our bookstore and we sell things online. And